Previously on the Celebrity World Championship. We've managed to discover that your opponent in the first match is a man called Dr. Phil. Interesting. In today's matchup, we have the Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader, taking on America's most beloved television psychologist, Dr. Phil. I wanted to thank you for giving me the resolve I needed. The resolve to destroy you without any mercy. Now, just hold on a minute, Darth. I draw. I summon Cosmo Dark Eclipser. Oh, sweet Jesus. Battle. Is there any mercy left in that soul of yours? Oh, there is. But none for you. Dr. Phil's attempt at counseling the Lord of the Sith only served to hasten his demise as Darth Vader will be advancing onto the, the next, next round. round. Up top, baby. You played like a champ, Hillary. That Amazonist deck of yours is something else. Seriously, I thought your ass was cooked after Daenerys wiped your board, but you hung in there and made one hell of a comeback. Well, you know what they say. It's not over until the fat lady sings. And let me tell you, she was just warming up when Daenerys thought she had me beat. That's my girl. Never counts herself out. She's tougher than a $2 steak. Oh, hey, Bill, what's up? And where the hell have you been all this time? Well, you know me, fellas. I'm not one to take shit lying down. You see, after I lost to Joe a few months ago, I've been in training trying to perfect my Synchron deck. Just like Darth Vader, huh? Exactly, but unlike that helmet-wearing angst lord, I found a way to take my deck to the next level. Now hold on a sec, you never told me about this. Sorry, Hillary, but I had to keep it on the DL. I couldn't risk anyone finding out about my new strategy. For your sake, I hope you're not just talking out of your ass. Do I look like Trump to you? Fair enough. Speaking of Trump, are you ready to take him on in the second round, Hillarito? I'm warning you, Joe. No, but seriously, that's going to be the toughest duel you ever faced. They're right, Hillary. Trump may have been over his head at running America, but he's got the skills to back it up when it comes to dueling. I'm not stupid, you guys. I know Trump's got the skills to match that bloated ego of his, but my Amazons are ready for his dragons. I certainly hope so. But enough about me. Shouldn't you guys worry about your own matches? She's right. There's a good chance two of us will be facing off in the first round. Then you better pray that you and I don't get matched up, Bill, because I'll show you no mercy. That goes double for me. Please. I could school either of you with my new and improved deck. Don't stoop to their level, Bill. I mean, they started it. And I'm ending it. Did Mommy Hillary put you in timeout, Bill? You're such a child. I am not. Look, we all have our pride and our own reasons for entering this tournament, do we not? I guess. I suppose. Then we've just got to go out there and play the best we can as a sign of respect to each other. You're right, Barack. Of course I am. No hard feelings, Bill? None at all, Joe, my man. Let's just hope Lady Luck is on our side and lets us all advance to the next round. As much as I want that to happen, something tells me that Lady Luck will only be smiling on one of us today. Yeah, that's not ominous, Joe. He's kind of spitting, though. If we do end up dueling each other, it really might just come down to whichever one of us is the more lucky one. That only applies to us, though, and not the Pharaoh and his cheating ass. Preach. Preach. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Lively here reporting live on the scene of Day 5 of the Celebrity World Championship, hosted by Donald Trump. As always, I'm joined by J.B. Smoove for commentary on this prestigious dueling event. How's it hanging, J.B.? Well, Tom, it's hanging like a pinata at a kid's birthday party. You never know what's going to hit you next. As astute as always, my friend, we've seen some of the craziest celebrity matchups halfway through the first round of this tournament, haven't we? You're goddamn right we have. I mean, seriously, who could have imagined we'd get a face-off between Darth Vader and Dr. fucking Phil? You said it. The surprises keep coming and the excitement keeps mounting as we've got one hell of a match today for our tuned-in audience. And in keeping with the theme of today's duel, we've invited a special guest to join us for commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to the 43rd President of the United States, George W. Bush. Thanks, Tom. And hello, America. It's good to be here. Well, 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 if it isn't good old George himself. How you doing, man? Still dodging shoes or have we moved on to car packets now? Certainly no more than you dodging the check at our last dinner. Are you really still on that, man? Well, you know JB ordering every single type of steak on the menu and then sending them back because they weren't medium rare enough does tend to stick in a man's memory. Plus, I don't think I've ever seen someone order a gold-plated dessert before. 
I mean, seriously, how do you even eat that? Same way you ran the country, George. One bite at a time. And speaking of bites, let's sink our teeth into today's match featuring two duelists that our guest is more than familiar with. Let's not keep the good and trigger-happy people of America waiting. Yeah, what he said. Then let's get to it, shall we? In today's match, we have the current President of the United States, Joe Biden, taking on the former President of the United States, Bill Clinton. Tell me, Mr. Former President, as someone who knows these two personally, what are your thoughts on this match? Well, Tom, it's going to be an interesting match, that's for sure. Now, Joe, he's methodical, you know. He likes to think things through, shocker, I know. From what I've heard, he'll be running an Elemental Hero deck and is a big fan of GX, so I expect his style of play to involve summoning a shit ton of fusion monsters. Sounds saucy. What about Clinton, though? What's he got cooking up? Ah, good old Bill. That charming son of a bitch will be a tough one for Joe, as I've heard Bill's been working on his Synchron deck. He's going to play the field and definitely surprise us with some unexpected moves. A Synchron deck, huh? Sounds like Bill is still good at synchronizing with things. Or should I say, people if you catch my drift. Oh, you're terrible, JB. Well, someone's got to keep things spicy up in here. Right, Tom? There's certainly never a dry moment when you're around, my friend. Now then, are both contestants ready to begin? Get your game on. Let's rev this shit up. Then without further ado, it's time to duel. Duel! duel. Looks like you drew the short end of the straw, Bill. Don't count me out just yet, Joe, my man. Who knows? I might surprise you. The only surprise here will be if your deck works as well as your don't ask, don't tell policy, and we all know how that turned out. Well, Joe, I learned from those days. Adapted and changed like a good duelist. Let's just hope for your sake your deck isn't as stuck in its ways as your stance on student loan debt. That's rich coming from the guy who signed the 96 welfare reform. My elemental heroes might be old school, but they know when to bring out the big guns. You can talk as big as you want, Joe. I know for a fact that Lady Luck is on my side today to bring your ice cream loving ass down. Lady Luck, huh? Is that what you're calling Monica these days, Bill? I'm warning you, Joe. Don't make me go Rambo on your ass. You mean the guy who needed multiple sequels to get it right? Too bad you won't be getting the same opportunity because this is as far as you go. I'm ready when you are. Then allow me to kick this shit off with my E-emergency call. And thanks to this bad boy, I can call up a hero from my deck. Now I'll summon Elemental Hero Stratus and use its effect to search out another hero. Then I'll set this card face down and pass the baton to you. My draw. Oh, come now, Joe. You can do better than that. Like they say, Billy Boy, slow and steady wins the race. You'd know all about being slow and steady, wouldn't you? I beg your damn pardon? Your infrastructure plan took its sweet time to get rolling, didn't it? Well, when you're fixing a country instead of just playing a saxophone on late night TV, things take time, Bill. A lot of fixing you've done. You son of a... But enough politics. I'll show you why you can't afford to play slow with me, Joe. I now summon Max Warrior to my field. Then I'll activate the Spell Mystical Space Typhoon. This'll wipe out that precious face down you got over there. For shame, Bill. You just destroyed the Lord himself. I hope you enjoyed it, because you're next. Ominous. Time to battle. Now, Max Warrior, attack his Stratus. You going senile, Billy Boy? They'll just destroy each other. Well, let's find out then, shall we? The fuck just happened? As slow as always, huh, Joe? Huh? Thanks to Max Warrior's special ability, it gains 400 attack points when it attacks. Well, aren't you just full of surprises? You didn't think I'd just run into this blind like your first debate against Ryan, did you? Perhaps, but you should save the tough talk for when you actually win this duel. As you wish. Unfortunately, since my Max Warrior destroyed your monster, its attack is halved until my next turn. Watch and learn, Billy Boy. I hope your ass is ready to get cooked as I summon Elemental Hero Blazeman. And thanks to its special ability, I can grab a polymerization to my hand. Then I'll activate polymerization to fuse my Blazeman and Woodman together in order to summon a monster who spits flame like my man Jay-Z, Elemental Hero Nova Master. Getting serious, are we now, Joe? As serious as the unemployment rate after your NAFTA agreement, Bill. Hey! And with your Max Warrior looking like a Karibo, it's time for you to face the heat. Nova Master, destroy Max Warrior. And since Nova Master destroyed a monster, I can draw a card from my deck. Perfect. This will come in handy next turn, knowing how spiteful old Billy Boy is. I think I've singed your ass enough for now, so I'll set this card face down and end my turn. My draw, baby. Because I'm a very spiteful person, Joe, I can't let what you just did slide. Bring it! Oh, it is brung. First, I'll activate reinforcement of the army. This'll let me call up a warrior from my deck to arms. 
Next, I activate Junk Converter's effect to discard itself in a tuner in order to retrieve a Synchron monster to my hand. Now I'll summon Junk Synchron, and with its special ability, I'll bring back my Junk Converter. And since I have a tuner on my field, I can now special summon Boost Warrior. Clench your butt cheeks, Joe. Pause. Because I'm tuning my Junk Synchron with my Junk Converter. Let's rev it up. A Synchro Summon Junk Warrior. And since I used Junk Converter in a Synchro Summon, its special ability allows me to bring back Junk Synchro. Let's not also forget the power boost my Junk Warrior receives thanks to its special ability. You just about finished now? What do you think, genius? I think that you've wasted enough of my time already. Tough talk, Joe. Let's see you back it up. Now waste that Nova Master. Bitch, you thought. I activate Defusion. Now I can return Nova Master to my extra deck and in its place summon back both Elemental Hero Blazeman and Woodman. And since Blazeman was summoned again, I get another polymerization. A clever maneuver, Joe, but you're just delaying the inevitable. Now recycle that Woodman. That'll be all for now. I draw. That, that clever, clever bastard. bastard. I, thought I thought he'd go all in last turn and summon his Stardust Dragon, but instead he... Played it safe by solidifying my defense while also having a powerful monster. I'm way ahead of you, Joe, my naive friend. You're not the type of duelist that will go all in unless you know you can win in one shot. I exploited that trait of yours, and now you're stuck because... I can't finish him off this turn. If it's come to this, then there's only one thing I can do in this situation. I have to hand it to you, Billy Boy. You put me in quite a bind here. It wouldn't be the first time you found yourself in a bind, Joe. Or have you already forgotten the Afghanistan withdrawal? Oh, real classy, Bill. Classy or not, Joe, we're playing to win. And right now, your elemental heroes are looking as scrambled as your Afghanistan plans. So let's see you wiggle your way out of this one. This is far from over, Bill. I'll set this card face down and pass it back to you. I draw. My plan, my plan worked like, like a, a charm. charm. It sure did, Bill, my boy. Nice job making him burn that face down last turn, buddy. That was slicker than a saxophone slide, I tell you. Thanks, Bill. And now that he has no face downs to protect him, I can go all out and... Drill his sorry behind like I did to Lois in that hotel. Exactly. Then what are you waiting for, you handsome bastard? Get him! Consider it done. First, I summon Synchron Explorer. And with its special ability, I can bring back Jet Synchron. Now I'll tune my Junk Synchron with my Junk Warrior. Behold, as the cosmos creates a monster of galactic might, take flight, Stardust Dragon. What a majestic beast. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, Joe. What? I'm now tuning my Jet Synchron with my Boost Warrior. Come forth, Formula Synchron. Now, thanks to Jet Synchron being used for a Synchro Summon, I can retrieve another Junk Synchron to my hand. And since I just summoned Formula Synchron, its ability lets me draw a card. Now, let me show you the true power of my deck as I tune my Formula Synchron with my Stardust Dragon. Envelop the cosmos with your Radiant Glow. Shooting Star Dragon. So that's your new ace monster, huh? Oh, he's more than just that, Joe. But you'll find that out soon enough as I discard Junk Synchron in order to special summon Quick Draw Synchron. Now let's run this shit again as I tune my Quick Draw Synchron with my Synchron Explorer. I Synchro Summon Nitro Warrior. Impressive monsters, Bill, but you don't have enough of them to take me down. Who says I need more monsters to get through to you? Come again? Don't you remember what you said this morning? I... Rhetorical question, Joe. Let me refresh your memory. As, as much, much as, as I, I want, want that, that to happen, happen something, something tells, tells me that Lady Luck, Luck will only be smiling on one of us today. Oh, I did say that, didn't I? Indeed, you did. So let's find out whose side Lady Luck is on, shall we? What do you mean? I activate Shooting Star Dragon's special ability. Now here's how it works. I can reveal the next five cards on the top of my deck to determine how many times my dragon can attack this turn based on the number of tuners I find. Holy shit. That, that means, means if he draws, draws two or more tuners, tuners I'm, finished. I'm finished. It all comes down to this, Joe. Yes. Fuck. Whatever, I've still got the advantage. Nitro Warrior, attack that face down. And thanks to its effect, I can switch your Blaze Man into attack mode. 
Since you destroyed my Rottweiler, its ability allows me to grab a polymerization and a hero monster from my grave to my hand. You should be more concerned about my Nitro Warrior, whose ability lets it attack again. Since your ass lucked out earlier, my Shooting Star Dragon can only attack you once this turn. I end my turn. My draw. You put up one hell of a fight, Bill, my friend, but it seems fate did not favor you today. What makes you so confident that this duel is over? Because my theme song is about to drop, and that means it's time for me to cook. I activate polymerization to fuse elemental hero Woodman and Clayman into my favorite hero, elemental hero Sunrise. And thanks to its special ability, I can retrieve a miracle fusion to my hand. Now I'm activating the spell O Oversoul, which allows me to summon back Clayman to the field. Then I'll summon Elemental Hero Stratus, and with its effect, I'll grab another hero from my deck. Once again, I activate Polymerization to fuse Stratos and Clayman in order to summon Elemental Hero Gaia. And with Gaia's effect, I can have the attack of your dragon and add it onto Gaia's. Finally, I'll activate Miracle Fusion in order to banish Stratus and Blazeman in my grave to fusion summon Elemental Hero Great Tornado. And his special ability allows me to have the attack of every monster you have on the field. You shitting bricks yet, Billy Boy? Ha, huh, you wish. What, what the, the hell, hell am I gonna, gonna do, do, Bill? Quit, Quit being, being a little bitch, bitch and show him what a president can do. And what, and what exactly, exactly am I supposed to do in this situation? situation? The hell if I know. Now if you'll excuse me. I need some butt sex real bad. God damn it. Now, Sunrise, attack his shooting dragon. Not so fast. I activate my dragon's second ability, which lets it negate your attack by sending it to the grave. A futile attempt to prolong your demise, Bill. Now, Great Tornado, cyclone the shit out of his Nitro Warrior. Any last words before my Gaia finishes you off? Just that I wish I could have had one more chance to turn things around. Are you asking me for a homie drop, Bill? Would you give me one if I was? Of course. Really? Hell no! And just for having the audacity to ask that, I'm activating Honest Neo's effect to boost my Gaia's attack in order to overkill your ass. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Biden has emerged triumphant in his match against Bill Clinton. What an absolute nail-biter, right, guys? Man, you know it, Tom. I haven't seen Clinton sweat that much since the Lewinsky hearing. But you got to give it to old Bill. He gave Biden a run for his money, just like the DNC in 92. I've lived quite a long time and have seen some crazy shit over the years, but that duel, that was a spectacle. Astutely put, Mr. Former President. It was an intense duel from start to finish as neither Bill nor Joe were willing to concede control to the other. Duels like these are what I live for. A straight tug of war between two skilled players trying to outsmart the other, like cats chasing laser pointers. Speaking of outsmarting someone, you gotta tip your hat to Bill for that sly move he pulled. He could have gone into his Stardust Dragon earlier, but instead risked losing his materials on the belief Joe wouldn't be able to OTK him that turn. Indeed. His strategy almost paid off as well, as he managed to corner Joe with his shooting star dragon. A very impressive monster, for sure. Unfortunately for Bill, though, Lady Luck decided she wasn't in the mood for any of his sweet talking today. Guess she's more of a hero girl than a synchron chick. Ain't that right, George? Oh, for sure. How else do you explain the misfortune of drawing four straight non-tuners in a deck chalk full of them? I've seen poker players get better luck than Bill had today. It just goes to show you how much of a factor luck is in this game as Joe Biden will be advancing onto the next round. Now let us hear some parting words from Bill Clinton as he exits the tournament. Lady Luck may not have been on my side today, but she's a fickle mistress, isn't she? We all know she's got her own game to play, but hey, that's the game of Yu-Gi-Oh for you. Can't win them all. You tell him, Bill. I'm so proud of you. He got my respect. That's for damn sure. Mine as well. Now let us hear some words from our victor. I gotta say, that was one of the toughest duels I've ever had to play. Bill was a formidable opponent, and it was an honor to face off against him. He might have been the one advancing if Lady Luck wasn't simping for me today. Also, I hope that you are watching this match, Benny Boy. I know you've been waiting for a rematch, so you better keep winning until you get to face me. Did he just call out Ben Shapiro? I think he did. Well, that's certainly going to be the talk among the duelist circle for a while as we await tomorrow's celebrity matchup. Now it's time to bring today's show to a close. Thank you, Mr. Bush, for appearing on our show today. Anytime, Tom. I'm always available to watch a good duel. We still going out for sushi tonight, George? Sure thing, JB. 
But remember, if you dodge the check again, I might have to invade your wallet like we did Iraq. You drive a hard bargain, man. I hope you both enjoy your meal. Anyway, stay tuned for our next thrilling duel. Tom Lively out.